Hey guys, it's Richard here. Today I'm here at Columbia University in New York City, and I'm here to give you guys a tour of the Columbia University bookstore. So let's head inside and see how big the store is and see if we want to buy anything. Let's go. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? So, the tour begins with us going down the escalator. Unlike the University of Toronto's bookstore, this one is actually on a ground level lower than the first floor. So, it's uh, one lower from the ground floor. So, we take the escalator down to the front entrance of the bookstore. And once we arrive, we are greeted with the mom and the dad sweaters. And I believe that is a checkout of the bookstore as well, too. And then here, we got some shot glasses as well as mugs. Over here is a close-up of some of their mugs. They got their coat of arms on a blue and white cups all over here very pretty cups i think this is their coat of arms collection maybe and then over on this side they got some more like formal stuff like travel bag as well as like a that's like a whiskey glass i think which is pretty cool they got their ties and then here they got some caps for fashion purposes as well as um i think these are for baseball i think baseball caps maybe i can try wearing one it's like something like this <laughs> And it's got 1754, which is when Columbia University was founded. And then back here, I think this is where people can pick up their order, like pickup section. They got some bucket hats as well, too, if that's more of your thing. And then they got some greeting cards. Nothing Columbia related, though, here. It's just your general paper greeting cards. And then when we continue along this side, we'll then be able to see more of the books. I mean, this at the end of the day is a bookstore, so I'm assuming that they got a lot of books here. So let's go check it out. Got some mom sweater right here and that is a scholar's iron that you see over there as well too and as mentioned that is the checkout section the checkout section has the picture of the butler library and this is their main bookstore corridor so in the middle section here they got some calendar some stationaries and then over on this end they actually got a columbia university hawaiian shirt here let me see how much this is oh yeah and then like most bookstores a lot of these things are quite pricey 138 dollars uh, so that's like 200 dollars canadian so yeah it's for hawaiian I insured you can pay 200 bucks and then have columbia university logo on it and then here at the back they got more sweaters yeah they got some banners here as well too i don't think this is where it's supposed to be but i think their main theme is the lion theme and then their coat of arms obviously and then they got like well that's not a good example but they just have a crown sometimes as their logo and then they got some nike branded ones here for sports clothing and then here at the top they got a pretty cool columbia banner right at the wall i actually like this one like i like this white um nike branded sweater here some more bags we're starting to see some quarter well this is not a zip but we got some quarter zip looking sweaters as well too they got a sweater of they call it the scholars lion it's the hungry lion that reflects the columbia students urge to learn more you know hungry for more knowledge and then after we look at all the clothing we then come across a full section of books i think just like university of toronto's bookstore this is where students come to pick up their books so along the pillars of of this bookstore there are pictures of famous alumni that are from Colombia. one of the great example is past united states president barack obama and i think they got warren buffett somewhere but they got alexander hamilton on that side so yeah very cool i wish we had that at uft as well they got some books here bargain sale so you can get 50 percent off on some of the books on this corner of the library oh that's pretty cool so this is faculty authors meaning that all these books are written by columbia university faculty members which is pretty cool that they have a dedicated section for that so yeah along the line again i want to point out the architecture slash design of this place they got like 1754 new york city and the crown logo over here i really like the details on the walls to make sure that nothing here is like bland so yeah this is the book side of the columbia university bookstore we'll continue heading down this bookstore is not the biggest bookstore so we're halfway down our bookstore tour already but we'll head down to the other side and then see what's there so we got more clothes on this side let's see how much these hoodies are so this is like their normal hoodie and it is oh that's actually not bad that's like 50 dollars. that's quite on par with different university hoodies let's come over here and then see other longer shirts because they don't just have hoodies like they got like long shirts here like they got pillows how much are the pillows oh it's 64 dollars 65 dollars look 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 
That's pretty expensive for a pillow. So yeah, and then this is where they got a collection of banners and pennants. I think they're typically, how much are they? Oh, like $20. Okay, that's not bad. So yeah, this is where they got your actual like bookstore merch. Their sweatpants are $50, champion branded with their coat of arms on their pants. Excuse my audio because there's a pop-up going on, but I wanted to show you guys their diploma frame as well too. They got diploma frames for different faculty. So this one's the Columbia Business School one, $200. And then they got their most normal frame here with just columbia university but i actually like the fact that they have different faculties listed down here if you want to have more customization on your degree and then behind here i think they got like a dedicated section for like almost like textbooks so i think this is where students come to pick up their textbooks so for example it says your course number right at the top and then it says your price if you were to buy new and use so yeah all these sections that we see here are for students and for their required readings so so let's exit again to the main area again there is a pop-up going on so i might jump from here to the other end of the bookstore to take a look at what they got going on for kids section and of course we can't end the bookstore tour without looking at their t-shirts so this entire wall is dedicated to t-shirts they got their most normal columbia logo t-shirts to their coat of arms to different fonts uh, but let's take a look at how much they are oh and then they got their faculty t-shirts as well too for example here they got the columbia school professional studies t-shirt for $25 which is actually reasonable now that t-shirts are usually around $20 to $35 I think the t-shirt prices are pretty good and these are the designs that you can get and all over on this side they got some Columbia Law School merch as well too if you guys are a fan of suits I think Rachel Zane went to Columbia Law School. So if you guys are a fan of suits, maybe you can pick up this Columbia Law School merch as well. And then they got like a lion, LED lion over here as well too, which is pretty cool. Let's see how much the law school hoodie is. Oh, okay, $80. That's actually not bad for it. This is embroidered as well too. So I thought this would be honestly like $100 plus, but not bad. So yeah, different schools within Columbia. I actually like this white one here, $45. So for a sweatshirt, $45. Okay, not bad of a price. Let's check out the columbia business school merch 45 dollars. oh yeah so their sweatshirts are around 45 dollars. hoodies are around 80 dollars, 70 dollars, and then t-shirts are around 35 dollars. but hawaiian shirts are around 138 dollars. so oh and then the engineering merch i really like the engineering logo because they got the two hammers along with columbia crown again 25 dollars for a t-shirt so pretty good deal i would say and here over on this corner we have some kids stuff they got some plushies as well as kids t-shirt as well as kids hats a lot of different toys and as well as different kids book it's very befitting for the name of bookstore that they actually got books as well not just clothes but look how cute these are like these are very small but yeah that's where we first started and then they got some small basketballs they're nike branded as well as some football very american and then the kids section actually continues along to this wall as well too the funny thing is this is a sweater for kids and it's 50 dollars. and i thought that it would be cheaper for kids because you know you use less fabric but it seems like it's actually more expensive to get a sweatshirt for kids than yourself because it was around $45 for a normal sweatshirt so you pay extra five bucks what about t-shirts let's see how much the t-shirts are $30 so yeah again like the t-shirts here were usually $25 but for kids it's uh, $30 so you're paying that extra five dollars so yeah interesting to know that it's actually more expensive for kids see I guess it's expensive to be a legacy kid of Columbia University from here I won't be able to do like a like a voiceover because everything's so loud so so I think I'm just gonna replace it with like a voiceover. So enjoy the next now few I'm up, Now I'm picking up by the cottage blues. Yeah, I wanna try myself inside the juice. Yeah, you know I keep on running from the truth. Is that not? I'm just a lonely fucking you. And this is probably where we're gonna wrap up the tour. The very last section, which is right across from the kids section, as well as the entrance of Columbia Bookstore, is uh, different accessories here. They got uh, more of like a polo shirt here. Let me see how much the polo shirts here are. It's on par with your Hawaiian shirt, so $140. But for a polo shirt, I honestly think it makes sense. But you know what the funny thing is? I swear I saw the exact same design at University of Toronto. I'm gonna put a picture up here. and gonna compare like, you know, how similar these designs are between the 
universities. So they got some kitchen stuff here as well too. I guess the price is a mystery, but they got their kitchen towel here as well too. Again, it doesn't say the price actually. Interesting. I guess no one really buys kitchen wares here. But yeah, this marks the end of our Columbia bookstore tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in my next one.